Brahmos Aerospace has renamed the Brahmos NG as Brahmos MA, and the co-director of Brahmos Aerospace has said that the company is in the stage of developing the working design documentation for Brahmos MA, and it will start development testing in about two years. The DRDO will soon begin user trials of its indigenous military combat parachute system which can carry up to 200 kg payload. India and US have started final techno-commercial negotiations for the acquisition of 31 MQ-9B drones worth $3.9 billion, and the $1 billion deal for the co-production of 99 F-414 engines in India. The Indian Air Force and Indian Army jointly carried out the first ever paradrop of the indigenous health cube at 15,000 feet from a C-130J Super Hercules aircraft. After 550 units order by Indian Army, both the NSG and Assam rifles have acquired 10 units of ASME gun for evaluation purposes. Paro's defense has secured a 305 crore rupees order from Larsen and Tubro for the supply of 244 advanced site 25 HD electro optics system for L and T's pseudo sun close in weapon system. India has issued an OTAM warning for a range of 365 km from 22nd to 23rd August, which could be the test of 350 km range Astra Mark III long range air to air missile. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has inaugurated a newly constructed state of the art Indian Coast Guard Maritime Rescue Coordination Centre building in Chennai today. The first Tejas Mark 1A aircraft conducted its first flight in March this year, initiating a rigorous series of certification trials encompassing new systems like radar and line replaceable units. The certification process for the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet is in its final stages, and latest reports indicates that the crucial milestone is expected to be achieved within the next month. Once certified, Hindustan Aeronautics can resume deliveries of Tejas Mark 1 equipped with Category B reserve engines to the Indian Air Force. The Nag Mark II next generation anti-tank guided missile had started fabrication in April this year, and latest reports indicate that it is all set to undergo developmental trials by end of the year. It is designed to be a lightweight all-weather fire and forget lock-on after launch missile that boasts several improvements like increased range, new jet vane control system and increased performance. During a meeting between Prime Minister Modi and his Vietnamese counterpart, India has offered Vietnam the technology transfer for the production of the Akash 1S air defense system, that will not only strengthen Vietnam's defense posture, but also create opportunities for Indian defense industries to establish a foothold in the Southeast Asian market. Armenia has already ordered Akash 1S systems worth $720 million and deliveries will start in 2025. US firm General Atomics has agreed to increase the Indian content in its upcoming 31 MQ-9B drones from the initial 7% to a substantial 20%, and this decision comes after the Defense Ministry expressed dissatisfaction with the earlier level of indigenous content. General Atomics has already established a partnership with Bharat Forge Limited to manufacture critical components such as main landing gear assemblies, and General Atomics is now exploring opportunities to collaborate with other Indian firms for sourcing additional components. General Atomics will also provide consultancy services to aeronautical development establishment for its proposed Hale UAV program. Today's top 3 comments 